Our Bible reading for today comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 27 and 28. God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are, so that no man may boast before him. Many years ago over in India, the Hope Diamond was found. It's a big, beautiful diamond, 45 carats, the largest diamond that's ever been found so far in the world. And through the years, that diamond has been possessed by many of the great kings and emperors. And a woman in New York City at one time owned that diamond. And uh, it was a priceless gemstone. Insurance companies had a hard time putting a value on it. When she died in her estate, she had had decided that this should be sent to the Smithsonian Museum in, in Washington, D.C., where it presently sits today. And the gentleman that handled her estate actually took that diamond and wrapped it in a brown paper bag and sent it through the U.S. mail, first class mail, to the Smithsonian. Can you imagine what it was like for that curator in the museum to open that package? Now, I'd like you to think of it this way. Think of that hope diamond as representing the wonderful hope that we have of going to heaven through faith in Jesus Christ, our Savior, who went to the cross to pay for all of our sins, has given us his holy righteousness, and by faith in him we have the absolute promise from God that we will enter heaven someday. What a wonderful hope that is. Now God has chosen to take that precious stone, that precious jewel of the gospel, and he wraps it up and sends it to us in some very lowly ways, things that the world laughs at, things that would seem despised by the world. Just a little bit of water in baptism, some bread and wine like you would have at a dinner party in the Lord's Supper, just words coming from the mouth of sinful people who are gonna die, an old book that's gonna fall apart someday. But God uses these very lowly ways to bring his wonderful truth to us and the wonderful hope to us. In the same way that he chose, instead of sending his son into the world through a palace and maybe with a large army bringing him into the world, instead he had him born of a humble virgin in a lowly barn outside of Bethlehem. So God often operates this way. He takes the greatest, most wonderful things of his kingdom and he tucks them into very lowly things. And even when that little gift of faith in our hearts grabs a hold of Christ as our Savior, something that no surgeon could ever find, yet through that we possess the very kingdom of God.